her vagina. And then I've colored her hair green. I just wanted to bring everything out in front of you a little bit. Her hair is green, her hair is hanging down now, and then going down to her knee and her legs shooting out behind her. This would be attached to her foot, which is shooting out behind her body. Now these are her breasts hanging down. And then here's going down to her other knee and going up to her foot. Now I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to show you. I put it in negative imagery right here. Here it is in negative imagery. And now what I've done is I've, I've penciled in an eye, an eye, and a mouth. So you can see, and I have enough carnal knowledge to recognize that position readily and easily and, and to see what that is. And you're looking at her bangs right here. And there's her hair going down, her mouth's here, eyes here, and there's her breasts, and going down to her knee, her legs sticking out, and there's penetration. Genesis 6.4 says, and I'm going to read it right out of the Bible. We're just going to read straight out of this Bible so everybody knows. Um, here we go. And uh, I'll put it right here and I'll just hold it. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. So, and it's talking about the wickedness of man. And, and let's just read Genesis 6. It says, And when it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born, that's daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, that's Satan and the fallen angels, saw that the daughters of men were fair, and they took wives, all of which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he is also flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. And then it says, There were giants on the earth in those days, and after that, for when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, you're looking at it in a hieroglyph. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, you're looking at it. They did bear children to them, and the same became mighty men. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at the world now. The world has become just upside down. Time's up. Um, God destroyed the earth after that. So God, God looked at the wickedness of man, saw how wicked his thoughts were. Well, if this creature and the fallen angel, demonic being, whatever you want to call it, Satan, Lucifer, if this creature is influencing your mind, well, you're separated from God right there. That one scripture, it says, and you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, Yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death. So Christ died on that cross so you could be made whole again. And to, make, to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Doesn't it all make sense now? I mean, it does to me. Now I can put the whole thing together and it's, it's so obvious. You know, the battle is internal. Your enemy is internal. And God is just waiting right there just to reach down and say, I'm right here. You reach up, I guarantee you, he'll reach down the rest of the way and you'll have a done deal. And all you got to do is reach up. Um, well, we're going to go from this now and I'm just going to thumb through this real quick because this, uh, this has a bunch of images in it and I just want you guys to see what's going on in here. Um, I want you to see a few other images so you can see what's happening. Okay, watch this. Okay, right here, we have, well, we're just gonna decrypt this hieroglyph more and you can go back at your leisure and look at this. This is an image, I call it the creature. Um, here's his eye, here's his nose, here's his mouth wide open like a serpent and he's wearing a yellow turban, you know, kind of a monster. Ch cool, check it out. Here's, here's like a sheep, well not like a sheep, it is a sheep, once again. Here's the sheep's eye right here. Okay, it's coming down the sheep's like, you know, snoot or forehead and down to its nose. There's its nostril that's facing you. This represents the nostril on the far side of its face. And then here's his lip and his mouth is open. It's colored in black. And the tongue is hanging out on the side of the sheep's head. Okay, now watch this. We're going to take the sheep right here and we're going to flip this sheep upside down. And we're going to give the creature the sheep. So now the creature is he's eating the sheep. He's got his hand right here, and he's shoving the sheep in his mouth, so he's, he's eating the sheep. Watch this. 
Okay. This just fascinates. I'm sorry, but fascinates me. <laughs> it just blows my mind. Okay, watch this. Here it is in like the stone color right here. And I'm just going to go over here real quick to put it together for you. Watch this. Here's the creature right here. There's his eyes, his eyes, mouth wide open. And he's eating the sheep. Now, I'm going to add that blue alien head you saw earlier in the video to this guy's chin upside down. What did Isaiah say? He said, those who try and hide their plans turn everything upside down. Go from here to here. I just flipped it. So this guy is eating his own kid. It's starting to look like kind of like a biological relationship to where the energy of one is consumed by the energy of another. That would kind of make perfect sense with everything we're talking about, wouldn't it? Watch this. I'm going to flip this guy and watch. And there it is. It's the same deal. So this guy is holding this kid. There's a dead sheep inside the kid's head. It says, and you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind, there's a sheep dying in that kid's head because he's a slave to sin. And there's a sheep dying in every single one of us because of all the stuff we've done. But Christ has come so he can wash you totally clean. He can be clean. Uh, Isaiah said, "Those, you know, your skins, sins may be as scarlet, they can be as wool. They will be white as wool. That's what God's offering you through His Son. He guarantees it. And like it happened for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm like the biggest testimony in the world. If God could save a wretch like me, then He can save you too. So, anyway, we're going to move on here because now that you've seen." Those who try and hide their plans turn everything upside down. I'm just going to start going through this hieroglyph and let you see some more stuff that's hidden in it. And um, Okay, watch this. Um, can, I'm going to show you a face. How, how's that look, Dan? Pretty good? Okay, here's a face. Here's the eye, the eye. And here's going down the nose right here, coming up. There's the top lip. There's the line between the lips. And there's the bottom lip. Okay, check it out. That's the entire hieroglyph. You're looking at the face of the evil one. This entire hieroglyph was put together so meticulously and just, it's fascinating how much stuff, you know, the artist worked in in this thing, what an agenda has been put in this thing. But there's the evil one right there. And it's got the whole entire agenda for the human race hidden in this one hieroglyph. And that's the destruction of sheep, the production of a hybrid species, which is us. And the we being the food source. And let me show you what happens at the end of the road. I'm going to let Dano zoom in on a couple things here, but I'm going to show you um, that he hell is real. I'm going to show you uh, an image of a spirit. And then I'm going to get out of his way and let, let him zoom in on a spot over here on, um, let's see. He can, he can hammer it there on the hard Here's an image of a spirit. Um, he, he's looking up. It's a profile. And this is the forehead, and this is the eye, and this is the nose, like the nostril, coming down above the lip. There's the mouth, and there's the chin. And it's a profile looking up. And now it's turning into kind of like flames. I colored it in. And now we're going to zoom out right here. And here's an image of the same spirit. You know, I've zoomed out with you know, on the image itself. And, and so now there's these feet blocking the door. And so this guy, this guy's stuck. His, he looks pretty bad. He looks like he's in agony, you know, look, doesn't look good. So now I'm going to turn the page. And um, there's that same spirit. And we've zoomed out some more. I've colored in some other things. There's actually a 